and we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be getting my Chiron mount. And as always, hello from Mifri. So um, before the expansion came out, we decided to just farm mounts. And we're still doing it as we go along. And farming mounts is stupidly easy now. We're talking about the level 50 mounts. Of course, I still have to get all the birds, but I'll do that another time. I might do it like level 70, like unsynced or something. So anyway, so I've got all the mounts needed, all the ponies, um, which are the... Um, you don't need the Nightmare, but it's also an optional mount you can get from either Garuda, Titan, or Ifrit. And you need the Ifrit mount, the Garuda mount, the Titan mount, the Leviathan mount, the Ramu mount, and the Shiva mount. Once you have all of them, come to the Wandering Mistral here in Revenant's Toll in Mordona. And he has a quest for us called A Legend for a Legend, which will get the Chiron... Fife. It says, a magic pipe, when blown, summons the mystical Chiron to your sight. The wandering minstrel of Revenant's Toll would like you to wet his whistle. Okay, okay. So, how good it is to see you again, Mifri. Little have I had to wander and search for his, of inspiration these months, for the very air resounds with word of your various deeds. Are the rumors true? The primals of Eorzea resurrected in ever more ferocious forms, only to meet a swift end at your hand? Yep. So I knew it, but tell me, in your forays among the beast tribes, did you ever come across a nightmare? Steeds of darkness gifted to beast tribes by the servants of evil as mounts for their unholy armies, or so rumors have it, or for neither sable hide nor inky hair have I seen firsthand. I've got them all, baby. So you have not only seen these fell beasts, but you tamed them. Even the fabled magic steeds consecrated by the primals themselves, I can scarce believe it possible, yet if any woman is capable of the feat, it is you. I thought the animals were merely the stuff of legend, creatures of manifest darkness, sacrificed of beast tribes, unholy gods, emerging from the void, recast in their elemental image. To think that not only do these um, eldritch beings exist, but I know the very woman to whom they answer. Uh, yes, I see it now. You are the one, Mifri, the one of whom the Oracle spoke all of those years ago. So, I wish for you to have this. For many years, I have this, has this whistle accompanied me on my travels. I collected it during my wanderings in the East. A gift from an ancient hermit who lived in a life of seclusion atop a holy mountain. At the time, I thought... Um, it, a poor reward for climbing to the top of that godforsaken peak. God, that mountain, it reminds me of Lord of the Mountain from um, Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's another video you can watch. Link in the description. Uh, but as I turned to go, the hermit spoke onto, the, onto me thus. The gift I give you is no uh, mundane instrument. Only a matchless hero may sound its cauldron call and summon the ageless one. A legend to call a legend forth. A cult that I was, I thought him senile. A broken man with a broken whistle. And yet there was something in the passion of his voice, the glint in his eye, that told me he was speaking true. Though my lips have never mustered a single peep from the thing, I have kept it at my side ever since. But now I gladly part with it. For who could the hermit have been speaking of but you Mifri a magic hero who has defended the realm time and time again uh, from the primal menace a living legend who can call forth legendary beasts at will surely he must have foreseen our faithful meeting so full faith have I that your heroic lips will succeed where my uh, merely musical ones failed one honor it shall be to bear witness to the first encounter between the greatest hero of all time and a uh, myst mythical creature the like of which the world has never seen what a song i shall make of it but a sublime song calls for a sublime setting and i can think of none better than the crystal cliffs of wrath frost overlooking silver tear lake 
Forgive me for wishing to add a touch of theatre to an already auspicious event, but if you would indulge me this once, I would be eternally grateful. I shall follow you to Rayfrost and keep out of sight until such a time you blow the fife and summon the... Oh, but my heart races to think of it. To Rayfrost, Mifri, your legend awaits. Okay, Yoshi P, I'm on it. Let's do it. Right, so we need to go to this place and get this. Wow, we have to go really far away. Okay, let's do it. Now, um, farming the mounts was actually really easy at this point. You can even go in with like eight tanks to do it because when you do unsync level uh, 60 doing the level 50 mount farm, the extremes, it's really easy. Like at level 70, I'm sure everyone can f solo all of the pony mounts. But yeah, it's just nice that I got it done, basically. And it's just another thing I'm trying to get finished before Stormblood um, is out, basically. So I've only got four levels gone, but this mount actually was one of the maybe I'll do it. I didn't think I'll do it this quick. It took me a couple of hours only to get three mounts. And um, as well, um, I might farm the birds, but I have other things I want to finish first. Like, I want to finish 60 bard, get all 60. I want to do Hildebrand. I want to do the Solisticate quests and um, all the primals as well, obviously, because I'll need to do the primals anyway for the birds. But I want to record them as I always record them, the unlock quests, do the extremes. So the extremes I haven't done, or even the normal modes I haven't done, I haven't done the Sophia, I haven't done Sephiroth, I haven't done Zervan, and I also haven't done Extreme um, Forden. But hopefully in Stormblood, that won't be the case anymore. I haven't done Extreme Nidhogg either. Hopefully in Stormblood, I am going to embrace and do the primals when they come out. I've, I've been kind of lazy this expansion. So uh, Stormblood hopefully will be the time when I'm fully back in the routine. More and more videos to come out and so on. So yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going. Almost there now. I like to just keep myself busy in the game. I don't like to stand still. I'm always doing something. So let's do it. Booyah. Here's the destination. And let's go. So let's hand over that magic dizzy. So I believe the Kyra map will be fun to get. Finally. Oh, wow. Hello. I didn't realize there was so much to this Kyra map. Hell yeah. Mine. I wanted it to be all colors of the rainbow, but never mind. So beautiful. Not even in my wildest flights of fancy did I ever dream of witnessing such a sight. I wonder if there'll be an equivalent in Stormblood as well. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is the immortal Chiron of Eastern Legend. Thank you, Mifri, for allowing me the chance to see one with my own eyes. I shall treasure this memory for always. That the Chiron has responded to your summons can mean only one thing. I... Sorry, it assents to your command. It is as I always knew it would be. From the very moment we met, you are the one the Hermit spoke of, the legend fit to call the legend forth. So beneath a crystal tower, a silent whistle sounds that over a crystal tower around the world resounds. So from its clouded kingdom, a golden steed descends to bend its knee to a hero brave and for its strength to lend. That's a nice uh, poem for you. So I am positively overflowing with newfound inspiration and it is all thanks to you, Mifri. I shall call this song the Ballad of the Mif Rider wink it shall be my finest creation yet i have but one request mifri as you ride out into the wild world atop your legendary steed do not forget to return to me once in a while and recount your adventures people the realm over may shout your praises but whom among them can set them to verse as well as i i can try rapping myself wink I want. Does he play his own music? Well, I guess we're about to find out. So let's complete. Of 
cool. So I got the achievement it Ishi Band. So let's check that achievement. I wonder if any title comes with it as well. Hang on, let's take a look. Yep, Tamer of Steeds. So let me equip that title because I have so many already. I need more. I need more. I need to get to the 200. This is like the issue these days, like trying to find the newfound title. There it is, Tamer of Steeds. Like it's like it's almost feel like luck trying to find titles in such a list. Like I think I am. I've got 133 titles now. So um, anyway, let me learn the horse. Yep, yeah, right click drop a magic pipe that when blown summons the mythical Chiron to your side. Okay, cool. There you go. Learn mount guide. Page two. So I've now got 34 mounts. Epic. So Chiron. Ask any man in Ophad who rules the realm of beasts, and you will receive the same answer, Chiron. It is believed that the lion-like creature has walked the eastern lands for over a thousand years and will only answer to the call of a hero it has deemed worthy. And Mifri as well. Wink. So, okay, let's, uh, let's do it. Epic. Now, this mount... I believe actually does fly as well. So let's teleport to one of the flying zones. Let's go to like Tail Feather, for example, and see what it looks like when it flies. Wow. Hell yeah. Bye. <laughs> It plays a Final Fantasy medley. Hell yeah. <laughs> it plays a Final Fantasy medley, guys. So, yeah, farm this mount. Get it. It looks... It's like an angel horse. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me. I can't get around his head. And goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys. Bye.